Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if your second monitor appears blurry in your Windows machine. If your second monitor appears blurry in Windows, this is typically caused by mismatched display resolution or improper scaling settings. So here are a couple of steps which you could try to resolve this issue. Now the first step is to go ahead and set the monitor to its native resolution. A common cause for blurriness is when Windows outputs a resolution that doesn't match the monitor native resolution. For example, displaying 1920 by 1080 on 2560 by 1440 monitor will result a blurry image. Now to resolve this issue, all you have to do is you will have to do a right click on the start button, then click on settings. Once you're on the settings, you may go ahead and click on home and then click on display. Once you're on the display, choose the monitor. In this case, my first monitor is my internal monitor and the second one is the external monitor and that's where I'm having a problem. In this instance, you will have to go ahead and choose the second display. You'll have to scroll down until you find scale and layout. In this, under display resolution, you will have to make sure you select recommended. This is the monitors native resolutions from the drop down if you have any other resolution make sure you set it for recommended and at the same time you can also change the scaling per monitor to recommended once this is done you may close this window and then try to check if your issue has been resolved in case if your issue has been resolved well and good you don't need to try the next step now the next method is to go ahead and use the clear type text tuner so the blurry fonts can often be improved using Windows built-in clear type tool. To resolve this issue, what you will have to do is you will have to go to the search and type clear type. You will see the best match for adjust clear type text. Click on it. Once you are on this, it will take you to this window. Here you will have to go ahead and choose adjust clear type text. Click on it. That should open the clear type text tuner window. Here you can go ahead and check turn on clear type and then follow the instructions on the screen. Now this is where you get to choose the monitor. In case if you're facing issues with your external monitor, you can choose which monitor is this. Yes, I want to tune all monitors. That's what is recommended. So you can go ahead with the all monitors or you can choose the respective one using the second option. For the demonstration purpose, I will go ahead and choose yes, I want to tune all monitors now. I click on next. Follow the instructions on the screen. Choose the text sample that looks best for you, for your naked eye. So in my case, uh, the second one looks best. Click on next. Same thing. Click on next. Follow the instructions on the screen. And uh, once this is done, it will take you to the second monitor. Follow the instructions, choose the text which displays best for your naked eye and then click on finish. Once this is done, you may close this window and then try to check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next method. Now the next steps, what you could do is you can check your monitored settings. To check your monitored settings, you may refer to, refer to your monitor's user manual and verify that you have configured the display settings correctly and at the same time you can also check with your by replacing the external cable so in case if you have connected your second monitor using an hdmi cable or any other cable try to replace it with the alternate one and check if that resolves this issue a few other steps what you could also do is you can up update your monitor firmware an outdated monitor firmware can also cause such problems. So update your monitor firmware. Now the process to update the monitor firmware is different to a different monitors. Hence you will have to refer to user manual for your monitor to know the correct way to install the firmware update. So all these steps should resolve this problem. In spite of trying all this step and if you are still facing a problem, I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with the possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.